Judge in the Guyana Teachers Union, matter challenging the government to deduct payment from striking teachers has been criticized by Attorney General Anil Nandlal. In the wake of Justice Sandil Kisun's ruling that the government can't deduct pay from striking teachers, Nandlal contended that the judge overreached. In my view, the judge, in that very, very marathon judgment, has committed grave and substantial errors in large numbers, and I say so with the greatest of respect. First of all, the judge recognized and accepted our submissions that the case was not properly pleaded. He said that the judge contended that the pleadings couldn't withstand judicial scrutiny. Now, that is a major issue. If a judge forms that view, that should be the end of the case. It's either that or we abolish the principles and rules of pleadings because pleadings is that mechanism by which you present a case. The judge failed to address the distinction which I've been making from the inception of this case between a right and a freedom. I began this case by saying that there is a Right, striking is a legitimate form of expression in our law. No one disputes that. It was once illegal, but it is now legal. But whether it has reached and has been elevated to a right as opposed to a freedom is where a distinction has to be drawn. He said that the framers of the Constitution didn't make a distinction between a right and a freedom. Nadler said that the judge's decision that the teachers be paid for their strike days affects the rights of another party. What the judge has found is that you have a right to strike and, and, and in doing so he has misread the constitution. He has equated the term um, freedom with right, but he has not addressed the other repercussions. He said that the ruling means that the striking workers are being compensated for work not done. The employer has a right the protection of his property and you can't deprive him of his property unless you he, he has he gets some value for it so here it is that you have a worker now who will not work but must be paid so in satisfying one constitutional right according to the judge what he has in effect done whether consciously or unconsciously, he has deprived and denied the constitutional right of another. Well, so that the government will appeal the decision.